A new entry into the budget or somewhat budget TKL mechanical keyboard realm is here and that is the TKD Cycle 8. This keyboard was sent over to me by Click Clack themselves for my honest review and that is exactly what we're going to do. So this keyboard kit comes with your choice of plate, your choice of pretty much everything. There's so many different color options, weight options, layout options. There's even a with or without lighting strip. You can have a battery cover, like there's so many options to choose from. So the customization on this keyboard kit is next level. Now this keyboard does start at a price point of $155. So while that might not be super budget friendly, I do think it's still somewhat in the realm because of all the options you get to choose from and all that it has to offer. Now it's older brother, the Cycle 7 that I reviewed a while back came out with this very own unique no screw assembly process and they're keeping that with the TKO variant and i'm very happy to see that correct me if i'm wrong but i do believe they are one of the first to implement this sort of system so i'm glad to see they are keeping it other than the keyboard kit and all the options you choose this keyboard comes with a carrying case a daughter board some plate foam case foam and p foam and two different gasket mounting styles one is the beans and one are gasket o-rings and the one I wanted to use today are the beans because I felt like the softer typing experience is what I wanted to go with in this build. And that's what the beans offer. With that being said, of course, the disassembly process for this keyboard is super simple. You kind of just pull off the top. And if you're worried about the top coming off randomly or it is not secure, I haven't had any issues regarding that with my Cycle 7. So I'm hoping that that'll stay the same for this variant because it is actually supposed to be an improved version for this TKO layout. Once I took that apart, I installed the daughter board, which is very simple. It just has four screws. The stabilizers included our screw and stabilizers and they were pretty decent. You know, I didn't really have to do any modifications to them. So I'm really happy with that. They were pretty much just lube, tune them. And I only had to do that once, you know, I didn't have to keep taking them out and putting them back in. So I was really happy to see that. I put the case foam down and the PCB is hot swappable. And then I put my plate foam cause I love using plate foam. And I went with the polycarbonate plate for this one. And the switches I'm going to be using are the Vertex V1s that are also available on Click Clack. These are great linears and I felt like they would complement this build very nicely. The keycaps I decided to use are actually from an Iquinix board that I reviewed a while back, which was the OnePlus One. And I felt like the colorway really complemented this keyboard especially with the red tiny badge on the back bottom part of the keyboard and the fact that the escape key was red kind of fit what i was going for and of course the colorway does remind me of some gundam-esque style so i was really happy about that with all that being said here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how it sounds So yeah, overall, I do think it sounds very nice. It has a very nice, soft, and kind of creamy sound signature to it. And that kind of goes into the way it feels as well. Like I said, the beans give you a softer typing experience. And that is exactly what I got out of it. It feels very nice and light to type on. Obviously, the switches have some part to play in this. But overall, the build process is quite simple. It sounds good. It feels good as well, so I have no issues with that. I think the only minor complaint I would have is the fact that the ribbon cable is a bit tedious to work with. But other than that, I'll be leaving a link to this keyboard group by in the description below for you to check out. And let me know what you guys thought about the TKD Cycle 8 in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.